I'm gonna get both love and hate for this video, but here we go. Archer and Joby Aviation, battery technology. You asked for short form content to be added to the channel, so here we are. This is our largest project yet. Both me and Reese will answer all the VTOL questions in only three minutes for you. But before I answer this particular question, make sure to bang that subscribe button because Archer Aviation have recognized us, the Hustle Brothers, as the YouTube channel that covers them 24 seven. And we plan on being recognized by Joby soon too. We're going to interview both Adam Goldstein and Joe Ben. So make sure to bang that subscribe button to get your questions answered. So let's get back to this question. Okay, this is a bit of a controversial one. But what is the battery technology like for both Joby and Archer Aviation? We're going to start with Archer. Archer Aviation's current EV tail aircraft, the Midnight, utilizes cylindrical lithium ion battery cells from Molecel, known for their high energy density and safety. The design incorporates six battery packs, each with over 1,000 cells, tailored to meet the high power demands of EV tail aircraft. Archer is engaged in significant testing with NASA, leveraging facilities like the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility for detailed battery performance analysis under extreme conditions. The collaboration is aimed at enhancing battery safety, energy density and operational resilience with the insights potentially benefiting the entire advanced air mobility sector. Contrary to some of the Bayer's beliefs, Archer is focused on increasing the energy density of its batteries while keeping safety paramount. This development is crucial for extending flight range and improved efficiency, especially for short and frequent trips which are characteristic of urban air mobility. Through partnerships like that with Stellantis, Archer is working on securing a robust supply chain that could integrate emerging battery technologies. Advanced thermal management is also on the horizon, and it's expected to evolve to better handle the unique thermal demands of VTOL production, ensuring batteries operate at optimal temperatures for performance and longevity. So switching over to Joby, Joby has chosen to use a lithium ion pouch cells for its eVTOL designs, which offer potential advantages in energy density and integration into aircraft structures. Joby's batteries are developed in-house with an emphasis on aviation specific demands like rapid power discharge required for vertical lift. The company has innovated with proprietary battery thermal management systems, employing both onboard and ground based cooling solutions to maintain battery performance and safety. This approach aims to reduce weight by minimizing the need for extensive cooling infrastructure. Joby's future battery strategy includes targeting a battery life of up to 10,000 flight cycles, significantly cutting operational costs over time. This ambition involves not only advancing cell chemistry, but also enhancing battery management to cope with the stresses of VTOL operations. Joby is exploring advanced chemistries such as silicon dominant or lithium metal anodes for potentially higher energy density, though these advancements come with manufacturing challenges. Additionally, Joby is developing a universal charging interface to foster industry-wide adoption, which indicates a holistic approach to battery evolution, considering not just the cells, but the entire ecosystem of charging and post-flight management. Both Joby and Archer are both likely to advocate for or adapt to industry standards, which could streamline battery technology reduce costs and improve inter-operations across the eVTOL sector. Sustainability is also another shared concern, with both companies likely to engage more deeply in battery recycling or second life applications as the scale of eVTOL operations grows. And guys, as always, the regulatory landscape will also play a significant role, influencing the adoption of new battery technologies through safety, certification and environmental impact requirements. Archer and Joby will likely continue to collaborate with innovators in battery technology to stay ahead of the curve in energy storage, safety and efficiency. The collaborative approach is essential for pushing the boundaries of what's possible with eVTOL aircraft in terms of range, performance and environmental impact. Guys, let me know below whose battery you think is better. Is it Archer's or is it Joby's? While both Archer and Joby are employing different battery technologies, we are employing different strategies to stay as the dominant eVTOL channel. So hit that subscribe to make sure you join the biggest eVTOL community. 